Here is an interesting problem statement. I'll read it for you. A five digit positive integer is entered through the keyboard. That means user enters this number. So we need to write a recursive and a non-recursive function to calculate sum of digits of the five digit number. Interesting. So we need to write both recursive as well as non-recursive logic to calculate sum of digits of this five digit number. So this way you will understand you will compare and contrast between recursive and non-recursive logic. You can check the compactness of recursive logic and the complexity of understanding a recursive logic. So let me explain the problem statement once again. So we need to write two functions to calculate sum of digits of five digit number. So we need to write the logic using recursive a recursive logic and without using recursive logic both things if user enters number one two three four five we need to add individual digits of this number that is one plus two plus three plus four plus five which is equal to 15 so we need to output this result 15 both using recursive logic and without using recursive logic so if this is the first recursive function recursive program you are writing then please go through the link present on your computer screen we have posted a video there Please go and watch that before continuing with this program. Okay. So with that said, let me open my program editor and start writing the program. I'll take an integer variable and call it num. So make it clear, whatever user enters, we need to add the individual digits of that number and output the sum of those individual digits onto the console window. Okay. So I'll ask the user to enter a five digit positive integer number and store it inside the address of integer variable num so user can enter any digit number up to it works up to eight or nine digits i guess one two three four five six seven and eight so problem statement had five digit positive integer number so i'm writing that statement so inside printf i'll write sum of digits without using recursion so i'll call a function called add and pass the user entered number to it similarly let me copy paste this and this time I'll calculate the sum of digits using recursion. Okay. Now I'll call another function by name add underscore REC, which means add underscore using recursive logic. So add underscore recursive REC. So please visit the link I'm showing on your computer screen right now. It has complete logic for adding that is digits and in the number without using recursive function. So please go and visit that link and watch the video there. So our function add returns integer value. That's why we are using percentage D, which is format specifier for integers. So I'll take two integer variables, REM for reminder and sum. So reminder is equal to number modulo division 10, which fetches the last digit in any number. Okay. So if the user entered number is one, two, three, four, five, num modulo division 10 fetches five, which is the last digit in this number. Okay, if user enters one, five, nine, six, number modulo division 10 fetches six, which is last digit in this number. So I think you understood the logic. So sum is equal to sum plus reminder. So we will uh, give an initial value of zero to sum. So zero plus the last digit present inside the number will be stored back to the variable sum. If the number is one, two, three, four, five, five will be stored in sum and then four, three, two and one will keep adding to the value of sum. Now we will reduce the number by writing num is equal to num div division 10. So if the user entered number is one, two, three, four, five, num division 10 gives one, two, three, four. Next we fetch the last digit and then reduce the number. We fetch the last digit, we reduce the number and add it to sum, by the way, each digit fetched by modulo division. So let me put this logic inside a while loop because we need to loop through this until num value is zero. So while num means iterate through this while loop until num is positive. Once num is zero, exit the while loop. So this fetches the last number present inside num, last digit present inside the num and adds it to the previous value of sum. And this line reduces the number by one digit 
from the end okay so after execution of this logic and when num is equal to 0 the control exits this while loop and we will have the result inside the variable sum that is sum of all the digits inside a number passed by the user to this function now let me write logic for recursively doing the same thing so i'll return integer type data so return type is int so observe very carefully here so i'll write a condition here if num okay i'll leave it at this if num is positive i'll return something be very careful here whatever i return about whatever i return here so this logic should should be there in one line now so i'll return num modulo 10 so observe the logic i'll return num modulo 10 plus i'll call this function add underscore rec here and then pass num division by 10 this is recursive call this is recursive call by the way so entire logic comes in a single line okay so observe here carefully this part can be replaced here uh, and we can remove this and remove this variable itself so this part num modulo division 10 is this part is present here and this addition is nothing but we are adding it okay so finally we will have that result which will return to the main function and print it print the result there okay so we are calling it recursively the same function and passing num value here by reducing one digit from the number so if the number is zero at the end it will be zero at some part at some point so in that case we will return the value zero when num is zero we will return zero to the calling method i know the code is very compact but the logic is complicated to understand right so let me copy this code and explain you in simple plain way okay so this is our formula so num if user enters num value as one two three four five this is an example you can take any number of any five digit number okay so now replace this logic with real values okay so num modulo division 10 gives 5 to you right do it with your with the help of your calculator so 5 plus this so num 1 2 3 4 5 division 10 gives 1 2 3 4 open your calculator and check this so this gives 1 2 3 4 as result so this is passed to r add underscore rec once again as num okay so num value changes now so num value for next iteration so the for the next call of add underscore rec is one two three four because we are passing it to add underscore rec so let me go further so this is the num num modulo division 10 fetches four so replace this by four and then num division 10 1 2 3 4 division 10 gives 1 2 3 as the result okay so replace this equation by 1 2 3 so now add underscore rec passes 1 2 3 as num so another instance of add underscore rec will be created so now the calculation part 1 2 3 modulo division 10 fetches 3 num division 10 that is 1 2 3 division 10 fetches 12 okay now the new num value is 12 now once again another instance of the function add rec is created and then this equation is executed once again 12 modulo division 10 gives 2 as a result now 12 division 10 gives 1 so another instance of an add underscore rec will be created and this and now the num value is 1 1 is passed to add underscore rec so one num is equal to 1 here 
So one modulo division 10 results in one. Now num division 10, that is one divided by 10 gives zero. So now another instance of add underscore REC is created. Okay, yes, add underscore num uh, REC is created and zero will be passed. So num is equal to zero now. So this case won't execute the else parts part gets executed that is which returns zero got it this returns zero because num is zero else block gets executed and it returns zero now the control starts returning when whenever return is executed the instance that is add underscore rec will get popped out of of the stack and the result is passed on to the calling function okay now one plus zero is one which will be returned to the calling function which is here so it will be replaced by one and the instance add underscore rec of one gets popped out of the stack now two plus one is three which is which will be returned to this calling function so add underscore REC of 12 gets popped out of the stack and will be replaced by the return value which is 3. Now the remaining code executes and 6 will be passed here and 6 plus 4 will be passed here and then this final result will be returned to the main function wherein we print the value of sum which is 10 plus 5 which is 15. Okay. So final result in our main function will be 15. So let me add all the digits present inside number, which is one plus two plus three plus four and plus five. So the result is 15. Hope it's clear for you. If it's not clear, please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video. We have explained it in detail there also. Okay, let us execute and check if this program works as we expect it to work okay i'll give the same number that is one two three four five because we already know the result which is 15. so with the with both logic the return value is 15 which is correct so i'll give one five nine three seven so let me check that using calculator so individual digits of that number has to be added so 15937 is 25 so our result is 25 so our logic is working correctly okay so let me write the prototype and all and finish this program so that's standard way of doing things so that would complete our program this works too but i prefer writing prototype that looks more professional when somebody looks at your program he or she will understand the program immediately okay so that's prototype this is function definition we can cut this off from here and paste wherever we want of course outside main method okay so this should work as it was working previously so this is function call these are function prototype and this is function definition for add res and this is function definition for add method so let me save it and compile and run this program once again so i'll give 5 4 3 2 1 so 5 plus 4 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 14 plus 1 is 15 once again okay and it's working so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends using WhatsApp, Telegram, WeChat, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.